three legendary chests in one day. I'm so lucky. I hope you guys get some too. Wow, I'm such a nice person. Six hours later. What's up guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So yes, I got a super magical chest. It's my second one on this account since I started playing Clash Royale. So if you want to see the first time ever that I ever got a super magical chest, I'll leave the video down in the description. It was a video from like seven, six months ago, long time ago. But anyways, ah, bad news. Bad news is that I was recording live right now, so, ah, but the video got corrupted so I have to start all over and I can't show live stuff but anyways we got our prince to level 2 it was in the shop not not to level 2 <laughs> to level 4 and I was going to use this deck with instead of the guards I was going to use the mega minion but look at this I upgraded the mega minion but it's only level 5 so hex no so I was able to get my guard to level 4 so will this deck work let's find out in a grand challenge Okay guys, we are going against FFF from the <laughs> the Black Jesus Clan, okay. So he is using the Hog Rider with a mini pack of Freeze, Freeze X, and I'm using this Giant Poison. I mean, it's dirty, I'm not a fan of it, but I mean, I just want to try new things and I want to show you guys new things. So maybe, perhaps, you guys could try this deck, it's pretty, pretty good. But we have this guy going on the right and I tried to defend as best as possible, but no. I zapped, I did waste a little bit too much, I believe, yeah, look at all this that I wasted, and he ends up getting my tower, but, uh, I went on the left and I did a, lo a lot of damage, so I'm like, should I use the poison spell, or, but I opted for the musketeer because I want to take out the mini P.E.K.K.A., and so he won't, won't get a, you know, counter attack, counter push, whatever you want to call it, but now I have to deal with a Valkyrie. So what do I do? I'm like, um, should I put a giant? Nah, I'm not ready for it. I want to pump up. So I just put the Valkyrie or the, I put the Ice Spirit for the Valkyrie because I do not want to waste a lot of elixir. I want to get pumping and get a huge push. So he pretty much showed right off the bat every card that he had. So that's good for me to know. Very, very good for me to know. And here is where he messes up. He goes for a push and I just put a poison spell he does he freeze i do not remember of course not so i only had to waste four elixir and he wasted seven so let's get our giant push yes pun intended our giant push on the left side and he's going to bring a mini pekka no problem perfect counter is the guards and with a charge shot my newly level four prince yes he does use the arrows but whoop boom in the kisser and a, a really good poison spell. As you saw, the skeletons went out. There's not a lot he could do. Spear goblins, mm, no. So I'm like, I'm not done here. He is used the free spell. He messes up again. So I get another push, and do a, I put guards, and then my ice spirit. I thought he was going to use the minions, and then I'm like, let's just poison all of this. We have a pretty good healthy prince, and what do we do? We get another prince another prince with a charge shot he freezes nothing he could do that was my first battle so let's see can we keep the streak going can we keep the streak going so now we are going against king and i do pump up right away but people make look at the dumb mistakes people make i uh, i seriously thought that he was going to be having a lava hound deck so i was expecting a lava hound the whole game because you because people who use tombstone usually have a lava hound deck usually now these days yes these days if someone has a tombstone it usually means that they have a lava hound deck but this time i was wrong so i'm he did you guys see that fireball and he activated my king tower so right now i go for my giant push and i'm waiting for my poison come on so i poison all of this look at this huge push and my guards being very good and thankfully my ice spirit my ice spirit went for the mini pekka. I thought it was going to go for the baby dragon, but no. 
He puts a tombstone. Look at all that. Look at my elixir advantage. I have a very good elixir advantage. He does try to go for the counter. And I counter him pretty good. Uh, as you see right here. I do... I should have left the knight alone. I mean, we had three towers. You know, hitting him as you see. <laughs> but I just wanted to make sure in case he did have a lava hound. Because uh, lava hound is pretty tricky sometimes. And people are very tricky these days. So watch this miner get owned. Oh! Three towers against him and three guards. <laughs> Major pwnage. So. What do we do? I do not want these guards to go to waste, so we go for a counter push. Once again, and my guards amazing with my ice spirit, and he does take him out, but my I was going to put another troop, but I'm like, it's that mini P.E.K.K.A. is going down, and he puts a tombstone on the poison spell. I have no words, but it kind of did end up working in a way, so I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. He is bringing a lot of skeletons. He is bringing that baby dragon, but the baby dragon ain't nothing. Ain't got nothing on me. Okay. And we put some more guards. I'm right here. I'm very worried. Ah, so I put my giant as a defense, which is dirty. Something I... <laughs> I'm dirty. I'm dirty this time. And if people are dirty, then I'm going to be dirtier. So that's what I'm... I guess that's my new philosophy. And right here, I try to protect my musketeer. I don't want it to go down, but sadly it did. And right there, minor, really, it's not gonna do much. So I'm ready for that mini Pekka. And I thought he was gonna put like a witch or something. And he fireballs. What are you doing? Okay. And he puts a baby dragon. What do I do? Of course, my good counter, the musketeer. And I do not remix. No, uh, we. Don't, I don't think we get the three crowns. No, it's not enough time. But we do a very good job. It's two people that made huge mistakes, and he he was putting he was spamming the mad face. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. You made bad decisions. But anyways, can we keep the streak going? So this battle is epic. I'm gonna tell you right away. This battle it ends so epic. Closest battles ever. OMG. Oh, let's see. Let's see what happens. So he brings in a hog rider, unsupported. I put my guards. He does get two hits. And uh, very good hits. Very, very good hits. So he pumps up. I pump up as well. He, I go for the offense right here, right away, since my guards are right there. And boom. And oh, a charge shot right in there. And I'm hoping, praying that he gets a charge shot. Of course he does. My prince. Oh, I love him. I love him. He does put the crying face. He is concerned. And right here, he makes an excellent play. I put my musketeer in the poison and he zaps. Very, very good. Very, very good. So learn from my mistakes. And I put the musketeer right there. Let's see if I learn. Let's see if I learn. And he puts a princess, which surpri completely surprises me. Believe me, it completely surprised me. So I tried to put a very good poison. It took me forever. But I wanted to get the tower and the princess and a zap. And do we get the tower? Ooh, boom. No? Yes? Maybe? No. Down to 71. But he has a huge elixir advantage because I wasted a lot. I wasted a lot from trying to get that tower. I just wanted to, you know, make sure that I got something. So he is bringing a mini P.E.K.K.A. and the hog rider. But sadly, 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 the... The Ice Spirit did not get both of them, but right here we have a Prince. I'm not too confident with it because I know he has the Skeletons. And the Prince gets distracted pretty easily as you see right there. Will he get a shot? Not today. I was going to poison as you see right there. I have the poison right there in hand, but I didn't. And he is bringing an aggressive push. And I'm trying to defend. Look, this is a bad idea. So now, uh, now you're seeing me play so bad. No, these are misplays from me. So we have the musketeer going on the left, take, gets taken out, and I miss. Now I'm playing bad. I miss the princess with the poison spell. Now he has two princess. One is shooting at my tower. The mini P.E.K.K.A. is taking out my giant. The poison spell is going on the left. There's guards on the left. I have no idea what I'm talking about. He brings in the hog rider. 
And once again, I have no idea why I do this. I have no idea. Do not do... <laughs> ah, that's so bad. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. So, I mean, I should have known that he was going to get towered with a poison spell no matter what. I don't know why I kept compromising. So, uh, and once again, I put a late, a late giant. And now there's a mini P.E.K.K.A. He puts the ice spirit for my ice spirit, which is very good. Now my giant is poisoned. No, it's frozen. He is going to zap most likely. And my musketeer is gone. He, oh no, okay. So now I try to go for the offense. I'm like, yes, go, go. And I put a giant just in time, but no, no, no. I want to take out that mini P.E.K.K.A. no matter what, so do I put a poison? Ah yes, a very very good poison because it takes out almost all of this. Yes! Okay, get to the tower. Now this is a key moment. That was a key moment. That was a key musketeer, but it did go out, but my ice spirit wasn't able to make it out alive. And I tried to go for the office. I'm like, ah, it's now or never. My Musketeer gets a couple of shots, but sadly it gets taken out by the skeleton. So I put a, a panic elixir collector once again, and it ends up working, but look at my tower down to, down very low, and barely my musketeer gets out of that poison. So let's go for the offense. He's trying to get to his poison spell. Can we do this? He is poisoning. Oh no, we lost. No, we didn't, cause my prince is a freaking MVP. That's what I'm freaking talking about. Oh, 3 and 0. 3 and 0 to prove this. That I went 3 and 0. 3 and 0, as you see. 3 and 0. Let's go to my victory challenges. 7 and 0. Oh, yes, life is good. Magical chest. We got a free chest legendary. Okay, no. That would have been better. And this deck is working great. My level 4 prince, level 4 guards. What more can I ask for? Oh man. Anyways, this is the deck that I used. I'm gonna try to be using different decks almost every day just to keep it, you know. I'm gonna be using a lot of free to play decks because I'm still used to being free to play. I'm not used to using legendaries, sadly. Because uh, it was a long time since that I didn't use legendaries. But, anyways, I want to thank you guys for the amazing support lately. You guys are amazing. I'm gonna try to give back to you guys. I'm gonna, I'm trying my best to find ways to get back to you guys like giveaways or something so stay tuned thank you so much for the amazing support so hope this deck works for you guys it's pretty popular i mean eh, it's really dirty but it ended up working so i mean if you want to be successful in challenges giant poison blah okay it's boring but anyways hope you guys enjoyed until next time guys if you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe and comment and until next time peace out.